Hey guys, it's your girl Onana and today we are going to talk some AMVCA's fashion real quick. So stay tuned as we break this down. First up in the best dress category, we have Nana Aqua Ado, stunning in this beautiful sculpture dress from designer Gaurav Gupta. I mean, it fits her so well, flatters her edges and her curves so perfectly. Oh my goodness, how you want it? She's going to serve it. From every angle, she nailed it. This is the test of a dress. Some dresses are beautiful in front, by the time they turn, it's no longer beautiful. Nana is stunning in this dress from every angle, she's killing it. Oh my goodness. Next up we have Mercy AK and she had two beautiful dresses. The first dress was from Donna Matoshi and the second dress was a high slit beautiful green gown from Valdrin Sahidi. Next up, we have Zuni Ade snapping her fingers like, I got this in the bag, baby. Like, all of you should go home. I got this in the bag. So that's Zuni Ade looking flawless in a beautiful dress from Lumini Official. And by the way, Lumini Official also dressed Mercy Aigbe and Shola Shobawale, whom you'll be seeing in the minutes ahead. Stay tuned. Moving on, we have CC Official rocking this beautifully crafted custom made dress from Shei Ola Dejo. So our girl Sissy also had a second dress, after the reggae she was definitely playing the blues because her second dress is as beautiful as the first. So what do you do when you have the pepe and the juice? You wear both of them. Coming up next is a lady who can do no wrong. That's the beautiful Adesua Itomi Wellington with her husband aka Am Candy Banky Wellington. And Adesua is wearing this beautiful bodycon dress, it's also bedazzled and it also has some nets and it's so gorgeous on her and you know her hairstyle, everything is popping, the makeup, the jewelry, I like the fact that her accessories are not too many, just a purse and the makeup is so on point. I absolutely adore the fact that Banky is channeling the Kanye vibes like he's taking the back seat down playing his own fashion just for his queen to shine. For her to have a place in the sun, for her to have a night, she has to shine. So that's so amazing of him. Hats off to you Banky. We also had Kim Oprah channeling her royal majesty in this beautiful high slit dress by Anne Cranberry. We equally had the beautiful Dakore serving the black diamond in this beautiful dress by Valjean Sahidi. It's a beautiful dress, don't get me wrong, but I feel like no fashion risk were taken. She didn't push herself at all, but it turned out great. So all is well that ends well, I guess. Next on our list is Auntie Shola Shobawole, not that she's one of the best dressed, but we just have to give credit where credit is due. In a generation where all aunties are dressing more sexily than teenagers, I just like to give credit to an auntie who respects herself, covers up her body properly, and still looks tasteful. So respect to you auntie. And then we had the delectable Miss Vic wearing Ambition by Whitney and I love how she wasn't even trying. When you are sophisticated, you are sophisticated. Even with the least effort, it turns out amazing. And then we had Token Makinwa, you know, socialite, fashionista. She can do no wrong fashionably. Her dress is beautiful, gorgeous and all. But I have one little remark to make. When you begin to mix two shades of velvet, you always stand the risk of the darker color looking as though it's wet. So when you look at her dress skin, 
Fendi, the darker side of her dress looked like somebody poured water on it. So the trend of her dress looks wet just because she mixed two colors of velvet. There's always that risk when you're going with velvet. Next up, we have the beautiful Belinda Effa. Sweet girl, she's very nice and all. But Belinda, it's time for you to fire your stylist, fire your designer, fire all of them. So she took your measurement and misplaced it. Instead of calling to ask for your new measurement, she decided to give you an oversized dress. Mm -mm, just fire her. Next up is Auntie Omoye, posing with all the confidence in the world, but her breast part. <laughs> They are saying otherwise. Like, seriously, what in the breast pad malfunction is going on? Didn't you have mirrors at home, auntie? And for this other auntie, I just have a song for her. Hello from the other side. I need my bathroom sponge right now. This dress had so much potential. If it was executed properly, it would have been one of the best dresses on the red carpet. But now it's just see-through and classless and tasteless and I want my bathroom sponge back. Another lady we love so much is Helen Paul, but we love her more so for her comedy than for her fashion sense. So fashionably speaking, she still has a lot of work to do. She's out here looking like the captain of my high school band. To doom to doom to doom to doom. Left, right. <laughs> So we are going to talk about Queen Beverly Naya. Everything she touches turns into gold. She's an amazing woman and I love her, but I don't understand what's going on with this dress. So the part below her breast, that's supposed to be a crown, but it wasn't properly executed. So it looks like some of the strands of her crown have gone to sleep. They are all racking up and twisting up. So designer, what were you thinking? Again, we have Beverly Osu stunning in this beautiful bubblegum pink dress uh, made by Janelle Couture. So she's stunning in the dress is elegant and all, but again, no fashion risk taken. The dress is too safe a choice for Beverly and we know her as the daring type, the outgoing type. So the only uh, uh, fashionable thing that sticks out of this dress is the bow. So it's only the bow that makes the dress fashionable, makes the dress fancy. Apart from that, it looks like the regular bridesmaid dress. So there was this uncle who was trying to serve a dark gothic vibe. You know, when you're trying to scare people, you gotta bring it. Make it black, make it dark. Let it scare people. Nobody's scared of a pink devil. Nobody's scared of a bedazzled devil. You're trying to be a demon, you're trying to be gothic and you're putting glitter on your dress. Oh guy, please get it together. Be serious, okay? If you're trying to go for the gothic vibe, make it dark and scary. I'm not going to be scared of any devil who is in glitter. Next up is Mercy Aigbe. I like this woman a lot. She has a beautiful figure. No designer should have a hard time dressing Mercy because her figure already does half of the job for you. So I'm kind of on the fence with this dress. I don't know where I stand. I don't know if I like it that much and I don't know if I dislike certain aspects of the dress. Let's talk about the train. Let me know in the comment section what you think. Do you think this dress needed a train? I know it's a red carpet dress. She was trying her best to make it look glamorous but I think the dress would have been beautiful on its own without that train it looks like it has so much going on so guys please let me know what you think about Mercy's dress in the comment section below do you think she could have ditched the train and still worked perfectly because i think even without the train the dress would have been gorgeous and then we had Bisola and Toyin Abraham. They were wearing dresses that had like neon colors. And I was like, Bisola, I don't know if this dress is really working for you. You're going to a red carpet event. There's going to be all kinds of lights. How do you think you're just going to reflect on people? And Auntie Toyin Abraham too went for the same kind of neon theme. Her dress is beautiful, the design, but the color and the fabric, mm, I'm not really so much of a fan of that. Cause when the lights start coming in from different directions, your dress is going to be reflecting all of that light and you're just going to be a nuisance you know it's just going to be obnoxious to people so you got to watch your colors watch your fabric before going to a red carpet so irrespective of the fact that she looks like a butterfly that is about to take off her dress is still gorgeous the design is beautiful and if this was some other fabric she would have probably been among the best dressed ladies of the night and then we had this cute little girl who went to her designer and said, you know what designer, I want my dress to be phenomenal, give me everything you had. The designer was like, you know what, I got you girl. Buttons are on this dress, embroidery is on this dress, markings are on this dress, broken glasses are on this dress, everything you can think of in the gamut is in this dress. Like, what is going on? It's just a little too much sis. If you would have toned it down a little bit, 
take out all these extra colors like everything is just screaming at me and finally we had this auntie with a very beautiful dress her dress was gorgeous she looks royal unfortunately her hair let her down so if you've watched this video up to this moment i just want to say thank you guys for watching i hope you had fun watching because i had so much fun making this video for you so thank you guys a lot for watching this is onana nation please go ahead and hit the red subscribe button below this video because you're definitely going to love it here on this channel we talk about all things entertainment we talk about African recipes. We talk about lifestyle. So please go ahead and subscribe. You're definitely going to love it here. Thanks for watching. See you guys in the next video. Goodbye.